So you've created an account on Onshape and you want to learn how to make 3D models. Well, let's get started. Here is our main page that we'll be using. And we're going to get started by going up to the Create button. And you can create documents and folders. Folders are going to help you with organization, but your actual 3D models are going to be the document feature. So let's go ahead and create that. Let's give our first one a name, and we're just going to make a cube today to learn the basics of navigating the system. So it's going to load up and get your environment created here. And first we see that we have three different planes here, your front, top, and right plane. We could also look at this as the X, Y, X, Z, and Y, Z planes. Along the top we see all our creation menus. And on the left side, we have a features and parts list. On the right side, we're going to see our view cube and some options for exploring different views. Now, let's go ahead and get started. And the very first thing we want to do is let's click on sketch. And once we get into this mode, we need to select one of these planes to work with. So just for the heck of it, we'll start with our front. And now we see this sketch paint plane has opened up around the front view. Now, drawing your sketches at an angle like this can be a little weird. So let's go ahead and click on our view cube. We're going to click on the front side to rotate this so we see something more like a traditional Cartesian plane. Now we can go ahead and begin drawing. So notice the menu has now changed. We have a variety of different tools here. What will happen is as you navigate through on shape, sometimes you will see this menu change depending on what you're working in. So for our first object, we're going to make a cube. So to do that, we're going to obviously need a square. So for that, we're going to come up here to this rectangle tool. Now this little arrow next to it means that there are other types of rectangles or other methods for drawing the rectangle. We're just going to use the default one here and click on it once. Now you see the cursor as this little plus sign. And as I move around, I can actually see these little icons showing up next to my cursor. I'm going to come here to the center point. The center point is what we call the origin. It represents 0, 0. So let's start there. I'm going to click once. Uh, now you see that 0 and 0 have shown up. Those numbers as I move will represent the size of whatever I'm drawing. Now if you have exact dimensions, don't worry so much about those numbers. You're going to have a hard time finding the exact dimension you want. It's a lot easier to type it in. So for that, we're just going to go ahead and move up and to the right and just click somewhere. Now we see we have a number with a box, and if I move over here, this number now has the box. I can move my mouse to whichever one I want to do first. And let's start here with our width, and all I'm going to do is start typing. So let's type 2, because we're going to make a 2 inch across, and notice the number instantly jumps over here. So if I start typing 2, enter, I now have a 2 inch by 2 inch square really simple and uh, and allows for quick setup of what we're going to draw here. Now I've got my square drawn so let's go ahead and finish this. I don't need to do anything else because I'm just making my 2D shape here. So I'm going to come up to this green check mark and click it once to finish the sketch. Now notice that some of our tools or our window has changed our menu has gone back to what we saw at the beginning and if i rotate my view cube here if i click on say one of these spots over here to change uh, now i can rotate that cube around okay i'm going to get back to my front view and i'm going to come up here and i'm going to click on this corner right here the upper right corner in the front uh, that's going to get me back to my original view. Notice that we're now sitting at an angle. This is going to make it easier to see what we're going to do next. So let's go ahead and we're going to make this in uh, a 3D object. So we need to pick this option here. It's called extrude. So what we're going to do is we're going to extrude this shape out. By default, 
it allows you to check the face or sketch that you want to extrude. Since we want to extrude this, when I hover over it and I see that orange box around it, I'm going to go ahead and click once. Now, I can choose how far to extrude this by using the arrow and dragging. And I can go in either direction. Or what I can do is I can type up here. So I'm going to type 2, Enter, so it makes it a perfect cube. Once I have this done, I'm going to click the green check mark to finish it. And now I have my cube. Congratulations, if you've been following along, you just made your first 3D model in Onshape. But how do I move this around a little bit? Because once you have that square or that cube, you can actually see some basic navigation tools that you can do. So let's say I take my mouse. If I want to click on something, I can just click with that left mouse button to select it. Click out here to turn it back off. But the wheel, I can use the wheel, and if I fit, move the wheel, scroll the wheel forward, I zoom in. If I scroll the wheel back, I can zoom out. Notice that it zooms wherever your cursor is at. This can be useful because if I want to zoom in on a particular point, I just move my cursor to where I want. If I hold down the wheel before I move the mouse around, I can drag this to different spots on the screen. And the last thing I can do with my mouse is if I hold down the right mouse button before I move the mouse, I can rotate my view. Notice it's very easy to quickly lose track of your default view this way. Well, we can get that back. I'm going to click over here for my camera options, and I'm just going to select asymmetric. And it brings me back almost to my default view. The default view on here is really the trimetric. Ah, there we go. So go ahead and explore some of the views on your own to see some of the different things you can do over here. And on our next video, we'll explore a little bit more about how to manipulate that square. And in our next video, we'll look a little bit more about how to manipulate that cube.